Hey everybody, wait a minute. I need somebody to hold the camera for me. Uh, here, thanks. <laughs> Production value, yay! Shane Simmons, a good friend of mine from school, decided that he was going to ask all of his followers uh, what their favorite kind of ramen is. And I'm here in South Korea, which I'm pretty sure is the land of ramen, where there are a bajillion varieties. So step one to making the best ramen ever is deciding that you want ramen. Step two is finding a place to go. Hey look, a 7-Eleven. How terribly convenient. So one very important part about uh, like finding stuff in South Korea is just because you saw a sign that said 7-Eleven over there doesn't mean that the 7-Eleven is actually over there. It just means that it's somewhere in the general vicinity of that sign. Uh, could be on the other side of the street, you know, like over there. I need to hire a camera person instead of trying to get them for free. Once you find your way into a 7-Eleven or some other convenience store, you have to find your way to the ramen section and see uh, ramen. But this isn't it. We also have ramen. There's more in the front, okay. But um, right now, there's one specific one that we're looking for, and that is this one, cheese bookie. Also have a wife who gets very excited about cheesy pretzels. <laughs> I think I started this video with like counting step numbers, so I guess finding the 7-Eleven was step two, and then finding the ramen was step three. No, finding the ramen section was step three. Step four is finding the actual ramen, right? After you have chosen something to drink, you walk up to the counter. And then just find a place to sit down in the convenience store. And then you open the ramen. Once you have your ramen open, go ahead and pull out the little flavor dust. Go to the convenient hot water. Oh, this is one of those two-hand ones. Uh-oh. Um, I am a master of my art form. Shane, if I burn myself, it's your fault. Realize that you're running low on battery and accelerate this entire process. Pro tip, take your chopsticks, which are not yet broken, and use them to pin the lid down so that your ramen will boil faster. Step more than four, kind of poke your ramen a little bit and see uh, if it's ready, which this might be, uh, but I'm mostly just impatient, so we're gonna go ahead and drain this. Take your newly rent in twain chopsticks and poke little holes down here. I can only assume that this is uh, Hangul for poke me, I want to be poked or something, I don't know, it's whatever it is, it's, it's done now. Find the food and water waste trash can and dump it out. Step more than more than four, take your flavor dust packet and sort of dump it in there as best you can. Then stir with one hand because your camera assistant is eating. Oh, hey, she's, she's been upgraded from camera assistant to like production assistant because she's doing more than one job. Once your heap of ramen is in this, well, heap, you can uh, start eating. This is Steph uh, Young. Oh. I, um, uh, this wasn't supposed to happen. This is all of my ramen in one. That's, this is, okay. Okay, so to match Shane's shot, I have to do this. <laughs> and that burnt my lips, so. Thank you all for watching. Have an awesome day. And don't do anything I wouldn't do. At least, not without a camera. All right, once you've got your... Could you be any louder? I am filming here. <laughs> Quiet on the set. Excuse me, my camera person is totally professional. And then uh, to match Shane's shot, I think I have to get a bunch of it here and then um, sort of, oh, is that my hair? Please tell me it's my hair. I'm gonna pretend it's my hair. It's disgusting, it's disgusting. Don't put those. Oh, that's gonna be in there. It's gonna be in there.